to remove uh, uh, the, the, the the scarf that he's wearing so that he remains dignified, honorable, and a sovereign Kenyan who expresses in this house matters of this country without having to take position with any other sovereign uh, okay. in this house. So, yeah. honorable speaker, I request that you ask the honorable Under what standing Farah, the honorable Farah, to do honorable what Farah, this house seat. has ever done over the years, including this, uh, displaying party colors or anything, anything that divides us on tribal, religious, or any other thing, is not what this house will accommodate. So I request you, honorable speaker, that he is requested humbly to remove the scarf that he is wearing. I thank you, honorable speaker. Honorable speaker, I want to tell this young brother of mine. I was in this parliament in 1994 when... Order. Order, Honorable Farah. Uh, a member has risen from his place and uh, has challenged your dress code. And uh, you yourself, you are a veteran member of this chamber and a highly respected member, also a ranking member. And you know very well that the scarf you're wearing is also the, uh, depicting the colors of a particular country. It is just very well in order that uh, being who you are and being one of the people who are relied on to provide leadership in this house, that you appropriately dress yourself and come back and continue with the debate. So you are directed. You are the veteran of this. You are so directed. Now you are well dressed. You may proceed. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I am, I, it's much obliged. Of course, I respect the chair and I'll definitely uh, listen to what the chair is. But this is not the colors of any republic. Tell me which republic. It's not Tanzania. It's not Israel. No, there's no a republic called Hamas. There is, there is a liberation movement which, which needs the support of everybody in this country called the Palestine and the Palestinian rights. Now those of you who have a problem with that, can I just finish? Those of you, can I just finish? This order, can I, Mr. Speaker? Honorable Farah. Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm going finish. to continue. I'm going to continue. Okay. I, I will continue. I'll, allow, allow, allow Farah to finish. I want to continue, Mr. Speaker. I want to continue, Mr. Speaker. Please. You only have 30 seconds. Mr. Speaker, I, I want to continue. These people took away all my time for, 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 for showing solidarity with the poor victims of Gaza. But anyway, your time. Uh, I'm talking about, let me come back to the, the major issue that was there, which is the petition. And those of you who think they're going to join the nobility and basically think that you can also enjoy that one time because you get these exemptions, or you also become so powerful as to be able to destroy other people like the Palestinians being destroyed is up to you. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> my position is that, my position is that, <laughs> my position is that this exemption of taxes was wrong. This country is a republic. There is no special place. There are no special privileges. Although my own house wants to give special privileges to the Israelis to destroy uh, poor Palestinians, but we don't want to have that within our own property and estate when the contradictions in this country. And I think it's only fair that this petition is carried and supported fully, and I support it. Thank you. Very well, Honorable Vicaria. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, as uh, much as the petitioners have a right uh, to come and uh, petition, and of course that is a constitutional right. Honorable Speaker, it is also important for us to remember the founding fathers of this nation. Uh, the, the people who passed this law then, in, uh, I think in 1960s, 
had, had a purpose. Honorable Speaker, it's also important for us to remember, it's unfortunate that Dedan Kimathi died and uh, he was never exempted. How I wish that he had, but he, he didn't have any property even to be exempted. Honorable Speaker, much as this petition is here, I think it is important for us to understand that we have founding fathers who came and, and for, for the property to remain under his name, Honorable Speaker, if it ever transfers to the heirs or whatever, then the taxes become payable. So it's only for those property that will never, I don't imagine whether it can ever be paid as, or sold or something, for as long as the Mze is dead and the family wants to keep that. So Honorable Speaker, as much as the petitioners want to do this, it is also important for us to look at those people who brought this freedom that we are enjoying today and uh, also include, if possible, even the right Honorable Raila Odinga's property, if it was possible, because he has really fought also for this country in so many ways and brought a lot of uh, openings and freedom in whatever we are doing. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I object that or oppose that. Thank you. Uh,